guys it's struggle here this video is a tutorial because a lot of you guys have been asking for a tutorial first i want to say thanks for the recent support i've been getting on my videos i appreciate the nice comments and you guys liking and subscribing in this video i'm going to show you how i edit my videos first i want to say this video is not meant for beginners if you're just starting out with editing you should watch another tutorial first if you already didn't know, I use a program called Adobe After Effects. If you use Sony Vegas or any other editing software, you can still learn from watching this video. It's just a little different. So in the first part of the video, I'm going to show you how to do this. So here I have a project with some clips and a song. And all I've done is syncing the clip to the song like this. So what I do now, I go to the point where I shoot and I Press Ctrl Shift D to split and then I search up my plugin Twixter. If you don't have this plugin, I'm sorry, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so I drag it on and then here, input frame rate, I take that up from 29 to 60 and I go one uh, frame back with my page up key on your keyboard, one frame back and then I click the time glass to get the keyframe from 100 then I go one frame forward again with page down and then I take it up to 200 or 300 so I'm gonna test out 300 first and then I go six frames uh, forward so page down six times one two three four five six and then I take it to 50 again so it goes slow motion so basically what it does it goes from 100 speed so it's normal to 300 and then to 50% slow motion so now it looks like this which looks really cool. Now it sounds like the sound of the shotgun is a bit too late for the bass of the song. So I just press Ctrl D and then just Ctrl Shift D because if you move it now, the clip on the front is like it's gonna get bugged. So you just Ctrl Shift D and remove that and then just drag that out again. And you can just remove the twixer from that and or you don't need to do that, but yeah, I just do it. And then you click this eye here, so you can't see that clip. And then remove the sound from the other clip. And then I just take it a little bit in front, so the sound comes before the shot. So it sounds like this. Sounds a bit more on beat. The video gets sped up, but not the sound. So I like to put the sound a bit earlier. So now it looks like this, and I usually just put on some glow and blur and uh, a shake so i have a preset for that and i can show you the settings here I, the glow is so i take it to 65 or something for my shake i have it go from 0 to 0 0.8 amplitude and 1 to 0 0.9 or 0 0.850 so you can just mess around with the settings see what you like yeah so next i want to show you guys this So for this, it's on every single beat of the song. So first I want to hear where the beat of the song is and place markers. So I'm pretty sure I found the place where the bass hits. So press E and find the twixter down here. And I go to output control. And here's the keyframes I made. So on this marker is where the bass hits. So I press this to add a keyframe and I go one two three press another one two three to go back to this one and one two three and place another here put this to usually 500 it uh, depends on how fast I want it to go so it looks like this so now I'm just gonna fill out where the bass hits so like this So now it looks like this. So that's basically the way to do it. For this clip, I just changed the speed a bit because I wanted it to go straight to the other kill. So I just sped it up more. And now for part two, I want to show you how I do the mask transitions with the saber outline. So I put the other clip in the timeline and I synced it up to the shot. So it looks like this. So now I just do the same thing. I put in Twixter, 60, one back, 300, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 50. 
Nice, and now I want a transition from this clip to the other clip, so now it just looks like this. Okay, so first thing I do, I look at the frame rate. So for this clip is this, it has 59.67, no, this clip has 59.768 FPS. So what I do, I create new composition and I put the frame rate to 59.768 and I have a new composition. Okay, so I go to the other composition, control C to copy, boom, into the new composition and now the composition is the same frame rate as the clip. The reason why I'm doing this is because if I double click on this clip and try to put this rotor brush, which is what I use, it doesn't work because it needs to be the same frame rate. So that's why I create a new composition. Before I create a mask, I right click time and freeze frame. So now it's freezed and that's what I want. So I double click on the clip, go to the rotor brush tool, hold in control to make this bigger and smaller and then I just mark the player out. And before, actually, I have to take this up to full. So you need to have full resolution, then it looks better. And then you can do it more precise. So you just paint out the player. By the way, hold the Alt key and left click to remove masks where you don't want. Now I have pretty much masked the whole player. You should do it precisely because it's just one frame you're masking. And this way of doing it is much faster than using the pin mask because that takes a lot longer time. One thing you have to do is you have to drag, uh, if you see the green up here, you have to have this as long as the clip you have here, so the mask doesn't stop. So now you have it masked out, it looks good. So now you can control C and go to the other composition and then control V on the same spot. Now we have a masked out player and the original clip. So what I do now, I, I take the mask and I drag it more to the left. So right here I want it to transition or I want the, the saber effect. So now to get the effect, you don't actually use saber because you have to keyframe it and shit. So I use an effect called uni ecto and that basically does all for me. If you see, it's already how you want. I also like to put glow color from source on max. Put the glow intensity to 1.5 or 2, it depends on how much you want, you can just mess around with the settings yourself. I love putting uh, this effect on this skin because it's like pink and blue and it makes it look really cool. So now you basically already have the transition if you just want it like that. But I usually also do some cool animating uh, with it as well. So for animating it I like to duplicate the layer so it's two masks and then animating the position of the mask so in the end the position is the same as the mask that is on top and then I like to drag it out like this so it gets animated like it's going into the other player also I like to make it pop out later so like here for example And also I like to just duplicate them and have more of them. And then I also want that one to be later, so like this. And just make it more to the left. So another one. And then basically here you can just be creative and make your own. And also it looks a little bit lame right now. Uh, so I wanted to have like a shake effect in the beginning. So I just take shake, find the setting I want. Right now it's kind of a little shake. It's not that good uh, yet. So I put on a twitch and for the twitch I just enable the slide, mess around with the settings. So it looks like this now. So it just shakes in, looks really cool, it kind of like pops out randomly, so I wanted to, to go a little smoother in, so I put on a luma key and make it go from 255 threshold to 
uh, zero in like two, three, four, five, six, six key frames or something. Looks clean. Copy and paste it on all the other masks. And I also want the last, uh, the top one, the one that doesn't move, to be there three more frames. And then I take the Luma key and make it go from zero to two five five in the end. So it just goes out real smooth as well. So it's still there uh, for three more frames. You can mess around with the settings for each one of them. You don't need everyone to be the same color. So that's all for this tutorial. Let me know if you want more tutorials and what you want to see in them. Sorry if I explained a bit bad. It's my first tutorial so it's gonna get better. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video.